Wow. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I remember how to do this. Ah! <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to my channel. Oh my god, it's been like, I think, a year? <sighs> First, let me preface with being like, I know it's been a year. I have good reason. I feel like I'll have to do a whole separate video on why it's been that long since I've uploaded a YouTube video. Um, mainly just like a lot of changes taking place in my life and a lot of things that have been going on. I, think, I feel like 2022 has just been that year for me of healing, evolving, growing, getting my life together, and really, really stepping over into like adulthood. Because like I was in adulthood before, but now like I'm really in it. First off, before we like dive into everything, please excuse me looking this relaxed, um, a little disheveled, because today is like a relaxed day for me. It is Columbus Day weekend. So already, let me preface with a timeline of things. I am filming this video, um, around Columbus Day. I probably will upload it much after that. You'll see why in a minute. Um, that being said, it's October, it is fall. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video and today there's a reason why I'm coming back. <laughs> so just recently, one of the things were like, oh, this lighting is bothering me, I'm looking. Back with this video because just recently, um, I'd say about prior to today, about two or three weeks ago now, I auditioned for Disney Cruise Lines. Um, as many of you know from like my previous videos and everything, I talked a little bit about my acting history. I went to AMDA in New York City, graduated from there as of last year, spring. Um, I'm still up here in New York. I've been hitting auditions hard. I have an agency. I was signed with them prior to AMDA, all that good stuff. We're not here for that. So to get us to where we are now, <laughs> I have had my eye on cruise lines and working the, I guess, cruise ship performer life for a while. That's always been something recently for like the past year or two that's been on my radar. I've been like, you know what? I want to work for a cruise line. Reason being is because, I don't know, I'm a very fast person in terms of like my thought, if you couldn't tell like how fast I talk. Um, and because of that, I don't know, it just made sense. I was like, okay, cruise ship life is fast paced. Um, you're learning things at a quicker rate because it's a smaller gap of time. Um, you get to travel, you get to meet people from all over the world. Like everything just made sense of me going in that direction personally. So to bring us where we are, I'm sorry, I'm like trying to get you guys caught up to date before like telling you about my audition. But I know you're not here for that. So anyways, I had my audition in New York City. Um, before that, I had to go on the official Disney website. Um, I, that's where I found the location um, for an audition in person. And oh my hair. that's where I found the location information for the audition in person. It was first come, first serve. So it was based on time slots where you had to sign up as fast as possible. I guess be like maybe the first couple hundred. I don't know how many they accepted or where the cap or the cutoff was, but you had to be like one of the first to submit um, for an audition slot. I signed up for mine for 10.45 a.m. on like a Monday or Tuesday. It was in the beginning half of the week, um, early morning. Signed up for it and I had like two weeks about two weeks to prepare slash like get myself ready. Um, so I signed up for that, made sure to also book my lift ahead of time, like my transportation. For me, I'm like, I'm in New York City, I'll say that because I don't want to give you my exact location, but I'm in New York City and by that I'm close enough where I can just go right across the bridge. I don't have to travel too far. That being said, I didn't want to risk it by like taking the bus or subway or you know anything like that like with public transportation because there can be delays, there can be mishaps. Did not want to risk it, okay? So I booked that ahead of time. Um, I made sure that if my audition was at 10.45, I got there by like nine o'clock. I was there really early. It's like, that's a tip, get there early. Um, Cause again, I didn't know how big the turnout was gonna be. So I got there super duper early at like 
nine o'clock um got there i signed in we'll get to that part in a second like i just went in put all my stuff down um with me when i go on auditions kind of like as a good luck thing now there's like one strip of light is bothering me as like a little I don't know like good luck charm when i go to auditions now i take my amda um duffel bag and so i had that on me i put my stuff down in the corner like took my coat off because it was cold that morning um just took my shoes off and switched into my jazz shoes because i knew that it was going to involve movement possibly because i said that in the audition breakdown so got in line to sign in um and receive my number and everything while i was in line actually this woman walked up to me and she was just like is that your duffel bag you went to amda i was like yeah i was like i did i was like i just graduated from there last year um she was like really she was like i went there like i think she said like almost 10 years ago i'm not quite sure but she also went to amda so we had a little talk about that she told me that she was an integrated student which means like you're kind of like musical theaterish um and I was studio, which means I focus more on like performance and that type of stuff. So we bonded over that. Quick little chat while we're in line. Um, and went up to the line, signed in. Um, super conversational, very easy and quick. You step aside and they took my measurements. Now, as you can see right now, I have braids. I will preface with saying usually when I go to an audition, I do not have braids or anything like this in my hair because i'm just very big on like giving them as close to my headshot as possible um and my headshots are with my natural hair so this was like the one time where because of time's sake and it being kind of unplanned when i submitted for the audition i didn't have time to take these out so i had pulled it back into this high dancer bun it was like real secure with the pins and everything secured it the morning of laid everything down out the way so they could see my face and when i got up there the guy was like oh i'm sorry like can you take your hair out so i can do your measurements because again they need as close to your like dome as possible they need it real close okay now keep in mind i'm already short so like in my mind i'm just like okay but it's very good to be flexible and to know that like they might ask you hey can you switch your shoes you just gotta be like okay so that's exactly what i did i was just like yeah no problem so i literally ripped out my bun shoved the pins out and, like slapped them aside put the little hair ties on my wrist and my hair by the time like i took it out for him to do the measurements it did not even look like this it was like it was looking real weird and disheveled okay keep in mind this is in a room full of like a lot of people because all of us were in one holding room even where check-in and stuff was so yeah so i took it out um he used this like this little measurement thing he took my accurate measurement and then he told me like plie away so i stepped away um he had to do it like two or three times because i guess if you don't move slow enough it'll like bump it up a little bit and again they wanted the most accurate measurement so he took my height um then i stepped away all that's done so check-in was done i got my number i was like number 22 i kept it i'll tell you why in a second so i got my number went over to like the mirror to fix my hair because again i had just ripped it out of the bun i didn't want it like this for the audition i wanted a professional and out my face um and as you know good as possible so i went back to the mirror put my high bun back up um and at this point we have time now until the audition started to kind of just like get yourself prepared so for me i will say i have kind of my own process now that i figured out through over the years before my audition i put my hair up fix that first because again i want to look crazy i went back to my little section with my bag i stretched i did talk briefly with like two other people that were there um for the character slash actor auditions and with me i don't like to talk too much i don't know if that makes sense i don't like to talk too much during um my audition or anything like that because i like to focus get like just as mentally prepared as i am physically vocally like i want to get prepared so i kind of sat there quietly taking sips of water getting my breathing right stretching making sure i took off um 
again any like extra clothing i had like a scarf um i did not wear hoop earrings i wore like minimalistic ones to still be professional but cute i made sure to wear like a pop of color with my hair i had like a pink hair um tie if i can't find a picture of what i wore i'll submit it in here but if not that's what i wore and i also had like this cute pop of color skirt that had literally multi colors on them that i could just slide on and off when i wasn't i guess moving or auditioning just to still look professional and like i showed up not just in dance attire i guess so we're sitting there for like about 20 minutes i'd say 20 30 minutes it wasn't too long actually and because i think me and a few other people had got there so early we were able to start earlier than 10 45. so 10 45 was my original audition time however we started i think at like 10 15 ish it was early it was earlier than what it was supposed to be so we all get pulled into this big room we take our waters with us and in this dance studio slash this big room that's where we meet i think it was one of the cast and directors we meet the choreographer and then the same guy that did our measurements he was also in there with us i believe he's another casting director but i think he also helps out with costuming so the three of them are in the room with us um and of course they do like a you know a little bit of talking beforehand introducing themselves saying hi like how are we telling us what we're about to do telling us a little bit about um disney cruise lines and all that good stuff then they tell us to spread out now me back in the day before like i got comfortable not even comfortable because comfortable is not a good word i'm always still nervous for these things but before I got familiar with auditioning, I would always kind of like go to like the middle, not, not even the back, but like the middle of the room. I didn't rush to get to the front, but I've learned, especially since I'm short and especially for dance calls and things like that, it's so good to get in the habit of going to the front. Pro tip. I went to the front, made sure I could see her nice and clear. Um, now for me, no matter where I am situated in the room, I don't look at myself in the mirror. I will not, cannot, should not, I don't, because then I'll get in my own head. So that's another thing. I picked a little focus point, okay, on the wall. So she does um, the dance a couple of times for us. We had to learn to dance. So right now, let me say it does not matter if you consider yourself a dancer, a mover, an actor, whatever. Oh, excuse me. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, I'm so sorry, y'all. <laughs> And I'm sorry I sound like this, you guys, it's that season where like fall is approaching into winter and when that happens, my throat, my throat gets, gets a little wonky. So she teaches us the number a couple of times. She tells us, you know, if you have questions, raise your hand and ask. Me, myself, and I, I ask lots of questions. I know I probably annoyed them, but I was just like, do you want my hand this way? Do you want this? Like, I like to be better safe than sorry because I'd much rather do it the way that the choreographer and the artist intended versus me doing too much of my own flair and style and then them being like, it's not what I envisioned. You know what I mean? So, we ask questions, we review the dance as a group. Um, numerous times went through section by section. She taught it to us. We did it on our own a couple of times just as kind of like practice. I don't even want to say practice, but just, you know, just as a group. Um, and of course, you know, they looked at us while we did it by ourselves. We ran multiple times. And I will say, like before I go further in the story, something that's, and again, I could do a whole separate video on like tips and stuff if you guys wanted, but this is just to tell about my audition. Something that I already went in with the mindset of is just have fun, especially it being for like Disney. How often can you say I got to audition for Disney? Not very often, okay? So I went into it being like, you know, let me just have fun. And I'm so glad that I did because I did. Um, we did the dance a lot of times. I did not always get it perfect. I messed up sometimes. And me, again, back in the day, if you would talk to me a year ago, I would probably got so mad at myself in even whether it was externally or internally, I got so mad at myself for messing up in the audition room. But I, I didn't, I just had fun. I improvised just a bit when I messed up. I still smiled, <laughs> still, um, you know, made the most of it and just had so much fun. And so we did it as a group. Then she split us up into smaller groups. And then, wait, did she split us into smaller groups first? No, I think we had did it as a whole group first. 
um and then you know i think we did like two or three times as a group in terms of them actually evaluating us in the audition process and then she started making cuts so yes we had our guest call back in the same day which again i was prepared for but you never really prepared for that because again callbacks they could have said are like two days from now a day from now i've seen some videos where people auditioned for disney cruises and their callback was on a different day but mine was on the same day literally right after so we're all sitting there with our little number she tells us to get a sip of water and then she's like okay when i call your number um that means that you stay we would just like to maybe see a little bit more from you um I think I don't think she told us that we're gonna learn the second part of the dance. I think she just said something like stay back because we want to see more, do more. And then she's like, if I don't call your number, you know, thank you so much for coming out. Doesn't mean that you were like not hired. It just means that maybe, you know, this isn't the right fit for you right now. Please come back and try again. You know, that type of talk. So she calls numbers and she calls my number. And again, while she's calling numbers, I, I was taking deep breaths and I was just in there like, you know, if she doesn't call my number, it's okay, it's fine, I'm gonna walk out of here, say thank you with a smile, and I'm gonna keep going, like, already prepared, okay? So she, she thankfully though, calls my number, and inside I'm like, yeah, <laughs> but on the outside I'm like, you know, like, mm. so <laughs> um, after the people that got um, cut left the room, we all learn i guess the other half of the dance and we learn so essentially the whole entire dance we learn the whole entire dance we do it again as a group a couple of times ask questions if we need we run it like that and now this time she um, adds in a note to factor in i guess um character work because my again my audition was specifically for a character work and as an actor not necessarily a dancer so she started to add an acting um notes or acting things that she wanted to see from all of us factor in i don't want to tell you too much because i don't think i can tell you certain things but i'm going to tell you anyway like anyway she tells us to factor in certain acting things like before we start dancing afterwards pick a character and keep that character in mind show us to the best of your ability that character without speaking like things like that so then from it becomes from like about mm, 10 of us to like small groups of three or four um and we each in those small groups go through the dance okay i think we did it once in those small groups um and before we did it in those small groups we had to do a slate um and slates excuse me these hiccups y'all Y'all going to take this off because it's hot. It's hot. A slate is like your name. What do, what do we have to slate? I think we slated our name, um, the number that we were assigned, and I believe... Oh, and I believe that was it. Yeah, I believe that was it. So just our name and the number that we had. Um, I try to always make my slates conversational. This could be a whole separate video on how to slate because I feel like no matter... Paul, are you good? Oh, yeah, my dog is like, can y'all see him? you'll see it okay but i feel like there's no right or wrong way necessarily on how to slate because it can differ based on what you're auditioning for based on i guess if you're trying to lean towards the character based on what they tell you to do so again that varies so i just made mine kind of short and sweet i was just like hi i am sasha alexandria uzzel and i am number 22. simple cute kind of conversation into the point. So Carmen plays an airplane. In my slate conversational after the slate we did the dance and that was it. Um after that I think she told us again get a sip of water we all stepped aside and I first let me also preface I love the energy in the room. It was so positive very light not stressful intense at all yes all of us were auditioning but all of us were like so supportive of each other we clapped for each other afterwards and we were like yeah you know like it was good it was good the energy was getting um so after we did that you know she told us what the next steps were um that she would like us all i really she said all yeah i wish she said all all of us to come back at like a certain time so i think i believe it was like around noon noon a little bit afternoon to come back um for more things um i don't believe she told us exactly what at that time but that she just wants to come back and of course all of us are like yeah like yeah. so 
so me um again this was in the morning time so there were a couple hours that went by i i believe it was like it was a couple hours later so i could have very well went home if i wanted to a lot of people went out to lunch went out into the city left and came back me on the other hand because i am close to the city but far enough where if i travel back here to my apartment like it would just be too much kind of thing so i literally got my my little corner got my water got my earplugs my phone charger got real comfortable and i sat there and waited until it was time to come back i know some people are like why you wait that long y'all y'all can't tell me for disney you wouldn't sit there and wait a couple hours if they wanted me to sit there and wait a day i would wait a day so that's exactly what i did i sat there um and i waited um and during this time another group of people went in for their audition i ended up meeting a few people talking to them getting to know them a little bit i met a couple more people from amda my alma mater so that was amazing that was awesome <laughs> my bag came in clutch and you know just literally sitting there filling time kind of thing i feel i texted my parents to fill them in like i got my call back and like things are going well like all that good stuff so fast forward to when it's time to go back into the room this is when we all are um you know told like congratulations on your audition congratulations for making it through now we just want to take some pictures of you and to take some measurements so that's exactly what we did so again my hair was pulled up into all of it was pulled up into a high bun so they took our profile pictures you know front and the side in real time of what we look like i don't believe we did our height again um and then we just sat down and then one by one we had to get up and they took measurements of your body of everything literally like our arms i mean you know your arms biceps triceps inseams waist bust under bust you hate everything so we took measurements um i know this is where it got really exciting um on my way out the guy that or the auditioner that had did my measurements when i first got there he, um he was also the one you know sitting at the desk while the other costumer did our uh, measurements this time and he stopped me he was just like hey like you know do you, you live in the city and i was just like i was like yeah i'm actually just a couple um, not, I'm not too far from New York. I'm just like right across the bridge. And he was like, awesome. And he was like, okay, um, would you be able to like come back tomorrow for, you know, possible wardrobe fitting? And I was like, yeah, of course. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, of course. So yeah, so um, he told me to come back the next morning uh, for more wardrobe fitting things. And that's exactly what I did. Now I'm going to stop the video here in terms of my story because again, I'm currently filming this at a point in time where I don't want to give away too much. But by the time I post this video, you will know. Hopefully why. <laughs> that's how my audition went. Essentially my audition went really, really well. This literally, the, the fast pacedness and the communication was amazing. It happened in the span of like three days, okay? I literally, or like a whole, like a week. So like the audition was a span, the audition and wardrobe fitting a span of two days. And then by the end of the week, I had already heard, by the end of the next week, I think, I had already heard back from them confirming like, you got it. <laughs> and, excuse me. I'd also like to preface with saying, if you are someone um, who auditions for Disney Cruise Line, there can be, um, and this is something I did my research on, so I already knew this going into it, but there can be a waiting period. Some people may hear back a day later. Some people may hear back a week later. Some people may hear back six months later. It just varies, okay? So if you're someone who auditioned like two weeks ago, don't panic if you're still waiting to hear back from them because everyone's wait time is different based on their needs. That's why I think, you know, they measure you, take pictures of you because what you look like and or your stats could be perfect for what they're needing at the moment. So I'm just preface with that. So yeah, everything moves really fast paced for me. Again, this is part of why I've been absent from YouTube, just taking time to myself. Um, and focusing on my career and focusing on where I want to go and what I want to do and auditioning because it's hard out here. And I will say like it was just nice being back in the audition room. Um, and again, I could make a whole separate video on tips like getting there early, pack snacks. Um, it's okay to be conversational, just not 
overly conversational be warmed up and ready like there's, I, there's a lot of tips i could give you but i just wanted to make this general video explaining my experience um auditioning for disney cruise lines it went amazing it was fun it wasn't stressful at all it was just it was kind of like in my mind an opportunity to just showcase myself to have fun to meet people and to make connects in real time that's how i viewed it because i don't know about y'all but for the past few months past like years since covid had hit or since the pandemic hit we've been having to do auditions online through self-tape and zoom and it's not the same i like having in-person auditions i like seeing people face to face and having that connection because it's not the same when you're always having to do it by the script so yeah everything went well for me um I will say I'm currently at a good point in the process and I will keep you guys updated as much as possible. I really want to get back on this platform and start sharing my experience, my journey, and everything that I can in my actor journey as like kind of like a video diary kind of thing so that way years from now I can keep up and I can be like this is where I was in 2022, you know? And that's it for today's video. If you have any more questions that maybe I skipped over or didn't answer in this video about my process, feel free to drop comments down below and ask. I will respond as soon as possible. Um, as of right now, I am not on social media. I probably will return to like Instagram maybe in a few weeks months um but i've just been taking a break from that too so that will not be linked down below however again have any questions feel free to drop comments down below and i hope to keep you guys up to date on everything in this process yeah it's exciting <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video be sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos coming soon i do not have a concrete schedule of uploading just yet because again a lot of things are going on right now that being said please subscribe because i will be uploading more um vlogs my experience with different things coming up and everything with this so again like comment subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys. Boop.